Hey everybody, it's Jimmy from the DIY and Digital Railroad, and today I am starting up a two-parter to show you guys how I set up my operating sessions and how I run my operating sessions. So let me talk a little bit about that. So the most common way to run operating sessions is the car card and waybill system. It's a fine system, but it's just never been my cup of tea. I like having as much randomness as possible. It makes each session unique and challenging, and it just changes it up. So this is how I'm able to randomize everything right here. So this is a Google Sheet that I've created. Um, I call it my Yardmaster Switch List Generator. And um, basically what I do is I have done a bunch of research and written a few formulas that will allow me to randomly select where cars start at and where cars end at in a particular operating session. So let's take a look here. Let's go to the first one right here. Um, we have a Southern box car. It is 527721. Um, here's the car type box and then here's its location and then here's its destination so let's take a look at these so we're gonna pull down the formulas right here and uh, we're gonna click on what is C2 cell C2 right here and you can see I have a big formula right here um, now let's take a look at what it starts off with this equals IFS now what that does is it evaluates multiple conditions and corresponds with the first true condition. So what I do here is I have if B2, which is the cell with the car type equals box, it picks between Charlotte, Beale Manufacturing, Spartanburg, Lumber, and Freight House. And then if B2 equals coal hopper, it chooses randomly between Charlotte, Spartanburg, and Power. Now the way it does that is you can see that it has this choose command along with this rand between command 1 comma 5. I say the 1 comma 5 because I have five options Charlotte, Beale, Spartanburg, Lumber, and Freight. And this goes on for all of these different things. Now I will post this I will post this formula down in the description below and what I do is I simply take that formula and I will copy and paste it into the D column of that. Now the one thing that you have to do, you can see these are all set to, to B2. Uh, when you go and do this throughout your entire spreadsheet right here, um, it'll go B3, B3, B3. You'll need to manually change that. You can't just uh, copy and paste. And when you copy and paste, you're gonna wanna come into this right here and you're gonna wanna copy the formula itself rather than just clicking the cell and copying it. Um, so that solves how I randomly decide where stuff is going to go, but how do I randomly set up the, like, which car goes where? So what I do, it's actually very, very simple. So what I do here is we are going to take the A and B column and we're going to highlight everything on it. And then I'm going to go up to data and then I'm going to go to randomize range. All right, we'll click that and boom there you go so that randomized everything back up and you can see now the southern box car is headed off to from charlotte to spartanburg and everything has changed up so that is how i set up my switch list generator um, i have a few different things um, here also that i use let's uh shrink up this formula a little bit now what i'll do is I will copy and paste all this and put it in the appropriate places. So if it's going, for instance, the Southern Boxcar is going from Charlotte to Spartanburg, I have a Charlotte manifest list. So um, I have a few things in there from an old session, but uh, this is what I would put the Charlotte to Spartanburg stuff in. And then it would have all of its special instructions. Now, because of the way of my layout works, I have the Spartanburg manifest works a little bit differently. You can see it looks a little, it looks pretty much the same right here. But what it is, is that I have stuff that comes from Spartanburg and goes to, let's see if we have anything. Uh, here we go. So we have this reefer that goes from Spartanburg to the Cramerton team track. Now that can't go directly from Spartanburg to the Cramerton team track because the train that works that industry comes out of Charlotte. So that would have to go on the Spartanburg manifest in route to Charlotte. 
and then it would have to go into around where we get to here which this is my local so my local train that goes out and works the Gastonia and Kings Mountain Industries is here and I put these all in a list and then I can block the trains and then I can get them going I will usually print out all of these sheets and then I will take them put them on a clipboard and I will just work through it it takes about two to three hours to run the entire uh, layout I can run this entire layout by myself um, I don't always have two or three people to come help me out and run it um, so that is one really good thing about this it takes about two or three hours by myself to run it running all of the manifest freights and the intermodals that'll run through it eventually and running the local which as you can see is a decent amount of switching so that is how I set up my operating sessions so thank you so much guys be looking for part two on this um, it will be how I run an operating session. I'll show you the little nuances and all the different things that I do to make running a little bit more fun, to make the, the runs of the trains a little longer, to add challenges. So thank you guys so much. If you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button, and uh, I'll talk to you next time.